hello guys uh, thanks for coming to the channel scans of coders so guys today in this video i'll tell you how to integrate open state map in your android application if you are looking for the same so if we are compare the google map with open state map the that google map is appeared after some usage and open state map is free to use uh, in a, in a, it's an open source project and it's free to use so you don't need to pay over and over into the open state map because it's a free and uh, you know it is handled by the most of the open most of the people so okay so recently uh, i have integrated i have done the integration of google map in in, in one of my testing projects so and uh, after some time uh, it showed me that you need to enable the billing for using the google map so guys, so uh, there are some tips and tricks uh, to how to uh, like uh, how to replace the Google Map with the OpenStreetMap. So in the for in the starting cases, uh, I didn't find any particular tutorial or any guide to replace the Google Map with OpenStreetMap. So guys, uh, this is my uh, this is my background. I have uh, collected information from various sites, uh, and uh, and you know uh, after making some kind of modification, I make it to work with the uh, latest Android devices that is I'm, I'm targeting this project to Android 28 uh, so it, it will work with the project and also so guys um first of uh, the first requirement is to like uh, to add the implementation line in your uh, app gradle file so this is the gradle uh, this is the you know this is a, a plugin that you need to implement here so after integrating that there is a one more thing uh, that uh, Suppose if you are using so uh, suppose whatever you are using a fragment or activity. So in my case, I am using a location fragment. So this is my testing project. So here, I, if you're talking about the um, so guys, on uh, this project in a Kotlin. So if if you are not well known about Kotlin, you can search about the uh, uh, so you, know, you can do R and D about that, and uh, it will be it will not take take a hard time to understand it as a Kotlin. Okay. So first of all, you need to after uh, adding that uh, library in the located file. So you need to add that uh, map view in your project, and I have given that uh, map view ID. So I will be you. I will be use that ID to link with my uh, fragment file. So um, I had I did I gave the width and height the match parent. So if we, if we jump into the Kotlin file. There are a bunch of line. Uh, so if you are, you, all of you are well known about uh, this uh, inflate layout. So if you are from a Java, Java background, so guys, um, so main, uh, before the main thing is that th these are the lines. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So <coughs> these are the important lines that you need to add in your project. So this is a will confirm application ID. I uh, then this is just taking the package name and okay. So here I'm attaching my XML file with my KT file. So here just I'm getting I'm going to find view ID. So if you are well we have a uh, expense uh, we have a synthetic binding. So in Kotlin, so you don't need to do the find value. So just just for your information, I'm doing that view view dot find where ID. So this is a map view. Here I'm setting a data connection to whenever I'm online, uh, I just uh, give, give it the uh, open source map to download the particular particular region map and implement the guys story. So this is the what kind of tile you, you want to use tile resource. So if you're clicking here, you have a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, uh, bunch of tile resources. So you can you can also do the public transport. I, I just I, my recommend is to map map mix. So I just given that. So it will download the particular uh, level of lights. Here you can set the zoom level and uh, maximum zoom level and uh, number of uh, you know tile you know the tile is made mix and tile is uh, made up with the pixel. So you know there are two features which will make a make one more. And this is open source. Uh, this, this is a you know this is a website where it will download that particular uh, region type. So um, this is the uh, this line is for like uh, controlling the UI whether we want to like whether we will be re 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 um, sorry, resize and zoom in, zoom in and zoom in, zoom in or zoom out with the help of window and this is a map controller I'm getting the reference to the map controller here and um, if if we if we move to the next line here I'm setting a default zoom level so this method duplicate so we can use uh, zoom to also so I just make comment on that. 
and uh, this is the GPS provider and with the help of this uh, I, I, in my requirement I need to get I need to point, point it to the user location so this will uh, uh, request a prompt to the user to enable the GPS on your devices to fetch the current location okay uh, this line is for this one and after moving that uh, with the help of this, uh, I am showing a particular map, particular marker to the user location. Okay, so I am using this marker uh, to show the user current location. So guys, um, after that, uh, run on first phase. This is uh, this is the if we, if the map is previously uh, previously there. So I am just first clearing that and then adding the um, <coughs> map location overlay. Map location will contain the user lo user loyalty data so you know then i'm this is a map controller that i have that i have created here uh, using the imf controller uh, this is uh, this is the interface class we here here we have uh, this uh, all this kind of method zoom in zoom out zoom in pixel uh, scroll by and any animate to and all so you can go through this uh, map box and use all the methods provided here so here are uh, so the description of uh, how how this method works so you can go through this kind of files so here it will animate our current location this is a my location okay so it will use the image library it will return the user current location okay so this is all so i will provide uh, my um, github link uh, with this uh, code and you can grab the, all the code from here so guys um at the end of this video i will show you the running application how it will looks and uh, okay so guys uh, if you like this video just uh, hit the um, thumbs up button over the youtube so it will be motivating me to provide another video for or, or another Related to the library that we face in the end of the weapon. So, guys, right, this is this is all for this uh, video. And if you have any queries related to this project and you visit to the OSM, just put your uh, comment. You just put your message in the comment section. I will get back to you through here. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.